Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we've released the Revision 2 templates for the HSV Monterey and Ventura. Um, so I'm going to be walking you through how to restore these once again um, and also the new features. All the templates are linked down below and when we get Sonoma to work that will also um, be um, a template that you can download too. But uh, we are having some good Sonoma uh, tests um, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, but more info will be uh, out very soon when we know that it's going to work on every system. So, basically if you go um, to the link in the description you'll find a download link for the file. Um, if you download that of course, um, you should get two files. So I've already put them in the data store. You can see you've got HSV Monterey and then the Ventura. Um, basically, I'll just show you how to quickly uh, move over a restore file. So let me just get the software open called WinSCP. So when you launch WinSCP, you'll receive a window like this. You enter the host name of your Proxmox. Obviously, the username is root by default and then your password. I'm going to click on login now. If it asks for a certificate warning, just click OK. But then you'll see a screen like this. Then you just grab a restore file. So I know that mine's in the downloads folder. Just this is an example because all the stuff's already moved over. You want to go back to the root directory, var, and then lib, vz, and then do dump, and then just basically drag that over. Um, and then that will uh, drag over and you'll get a progress bar. You can't currently see that progress bar. Um, but once it's over, which it's nearly done now, you can see that's as easy as that. So if we move back onto uh, Proxmox here, that's basically what I've done here. I've got the HSV Monterey and Ventura. If you've got a network attached storage device, you can just put them in the dump folder that you've attached, uh, which I've done here. So first I'm going to show you the HSV Monterey. So if I restore that, you select the storage uh, volume you want it to be on. Obviously I've got loads here, you might only have the local volume. The VMID, so I'm going to put this as 2000, just like it is in the template, we can do it as whatever. And then set a RAM, so I, I'll just leave it at the default for now. Then we'll click on restore, it'll start to restore, depending on obviously the speed of your SSDs and if you're copying it uh, over a network type storage device, uh, the speed of that all depends um, on how quick it will restore. But now I'm just going to wait for uh, this to actually restore and then uh, I'll show you uh, how to configure it, which there is no configuration much at all, but I'll just show you that. So it's now restored. Um, Basically, if we go to the um, VM here, HSV Monterey, if you read the disclaimer here, um, you just skip all of the stuff, including the sign-in with Apple ID, because you can do that later when you've got a correct SM BIOS. But uh, it's a uh, default uh, setup for Intel, so if you've got AMD, you just copy this to the config file uh, and just you know read the disclaimers that we've put there. If we go to console now and click start, you'll be amazed by uh, how easy that was to restore um, a whole version of macOS. So I'll just show you. If you press enter to boot into HSV Monterey, uh, you'll see um, that we'll get onto the setup screen. So it's loading up now. Nearly there. Once that's done, uh, you'll see the HSV Monterey setup screen. So it's nearly there. Um, sorry for the slowness, it's because I'm running other virtual machines too. But you can see we get the country selection. So I'm just going to go through this in the background um, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the desktop. So you can see we're on the desktop now and we've got a um, HSV getting started uh, drive on the desktop. So if we double click on that, we get a readme file that will open in the preview app and then we'll get a um, 
some instructions that Tor's uh, nicely uh, laid out uh, that you can follow through because I'm obviously not going to go through it here. Um, you can go through it in your own time, of course. So that's Monterey. So Monterey is pre-installed for you. All you need to do is that initial setup screen and then read that readme file. But Ventura is a bit different. So we've tried our best trying to get Ventura that way, but for some reason it won't. So I'm going to restore this, the same as um, Monterey, the exact same principle. Click restore, it'll restore a lot quicker because Ventura is not pre-installed. So this will mean you're going to have to in install it. You'll still get the same HSV getting started on the desktop though. So we're going to wait for this to restore and then I'll show you what you need to do next. You can see now that it says task OK, which basically means on prox marks that it's restored. So, I'm just going to shut this down obviously because um, I don't need it on there. But basically, on Ventura, you can see it's the same. Um, but basically, if we go to console and start up the virtual machine, like you would with Monterey, you'll see that things are a bit different. So when we boot in, you'll see that we don't have that HSV Ventura we only have the UEFI shell so if we press enter and press enter again we'll get a shell um, actual uh, command line all we need to do with that is fs1 colon backslash which on a UK keyboard is the alt GI key and the hash key but for US and anywhere else in the world you just do backslash system so I've put S there if I press tab if it doesn't do anything press do FS0 colon backslash S then tab you see it fills out a system do the backslash again library so L tab core services so I'm going to do core and then tab then boot.efi once we've done that, you can see that basically um, we're booting into the macOS installer. Now, I will uh, walk you through how to actually get the installer up and running, but I won't show you the desktop because from the desktop and initial setup screen, it's the exact same as the HSV Monterey template. But I'm just going to show you here how to actually format the disks and start installing HSV Ventura out of curiosity. So, you can see we're on the um, macOS recovery. If we double click into disk utility and then then go to view, show all devices, click the Apple Link Vertio Block Media, erase, give it a name, so I'll just do HV Ventura, click on erase, create the partition map obviously and do all the stuff. Um, and then when it's done it'll say erase process complete just click done close the app double click on install macOS Ventura then once that's done um, you have to give it a moment click on continue you might get the spinning wheel of death don't worry about it um, but once we've uh, got past this stage, we agree to the terms and then we'll uh, select our Ventura disk, which I'll show you in a moment. Click on agree. If you've read all these terms, I already have. Agree. Agree again. Then select our disk, what we've named it. I've named it HSV Ventura and click on continue. Once you've done that, you'll get a progress bar like this. And when it finishes, you do the initial setup phase and you will have that HSV getting started on the desktop, uh, just like the Monterey template that I demonstrated earlier in this video. So what does the new uh, revision to templates include? So it includes the updated open code version, which is 0 0.92, and also upgraded kits for Apple ALC and all that stuff, um, which is nice. Um, so 
link down below to download the templates uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video if you need any help with them please join the discord which is also a link below if you did enjoy this video leave a like and do consider subscribing thanks for watching goodbye